Does this work? There's no cord. What's wrong here? Doesn't seem right. Anyway, it's great to have you. Ready for Tom Chapin? Yeah. Well, a couple things we've got to get out of the way. Uh, I just want to let you know some exits have changed. That exit over there to your right is still there. It's been there. But there's a new exit through the community room. So you can use that one in case of emergency. Or the, there's an exit halfway down the hallway. And there's also an exit as you came in. So get that out of the way. Are, are your phones turned off or muted or whatever? And there's one more thing. Oh, restrooms. Uh, restrooms are, are in the hallway. There's a men's room and a ladies' room. And there's all gender uh, restrooms as you came in in the foyer. Anything else? Well, somebody said something funny. I, I know you Anyway, let's get this evening started. I was wondering if somebody someday asked Tom Chapin, what did you do in your life? And Tom just casually said, oh, I made 27 albums, won three Grammys. I love to sing. I love to tell stories. I performed on Broadway, been on TV, radio, and film. I also advocate for environmental causes and hunger, save the children, and why, which was started by his brother, Harry Chapin, social justice and a supporter of arts and music and public schools. I am married and father of two daughters. And boy, do you want to listen to their music. And the person I was interviewing him then said, I don't think I should ask him, do you have any regrets after all you've done? So that's a life well lived, isn't it? And we're so lucky to have Tom Chapin here tonight again. Here I present to you from Friday Night Folk, Tom Chapin. <laughs> Well, that's an introduction. I bet it be pretty good tonight. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Got to turn this on. So I drove all the way up here from uh, the... the uh, Tappan Zee Bridge. We live in Rockland County. And as soon as I got here, the sun came out. Yeah. It wasn't me, but I'll take the... If I were an apple, I'd be very unhappy traveling 4,000 miles or more. From far off Tasmania in a shipping container to a shelf in a new London store. Why should I be tortured when some New England orchard would be totally thrilled to the core? To pick me and crate me and load me and freight me not 4,000 miles but four. An apple should be not far from the tree where it ripens in the fall. Locally grown and locally eaten is glow good 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 for us all that's your part locally grown and locally eaten is globally good 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 for us all all you gotta do is move your lips Two. locally grown and locally eaten is globally good 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 for us all and if i were a berry i expect i'd be very contrary and hardly inclined to get shipped out from chile to a store in north philly hey i'd have to be out of my mind it seems paradoxic and carbon dioxide to force all our food to commute Wasting gallons of fuel, which you know isn't cool for people or planets or fruit. A berry is fine, a 
not far from its vine near the farmer's market stall. Locally grown and locally eaten is globally good, good, good for us all better. Again, locally grown and locally eaten is globally good, good, good for us all. Play one. Picks coming off. <laughs> it was just a, a little error, a driver error. So when you're walking the aisle past the beautiful pile of the fruit. Might want to take home. Do not buy for the table till you check out the label and determine how far it did roam. Aside from the karma of helping a farmer who lives in your county or state, there is one more good reason to buy what's in season. The taste is incredibly great. So keep buying foods from regional dudes. Keep your carbon footprint small. Locally grown and locally eaten is globally good, good, good for us all. Last chance. Locally grown and locally eaten is globally good, good, good for us all. Good, good, good for us all. Just grow your own. In first grade, they gave a little paper cup, potting soil to fill it up. Teacher sent you home with a pumpkin seed. Put it in a window, warm and light. Give a little drink each and every night. Sunshine and water are all you need to grow your own. Grow your own. Soon you'll see the very first bloom of your own little farm in your own little room. Grow your own. This is your part. Deedly diddly 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 do. Deedly diddly 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 do. Deedly diddly 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 do. Just grow. That's easier, right? Just grow your own. A few years later in earth science class, clear a little corner of the high school grass, fence and trellis and rows of seeds. Chess team will come and measure the plants. Dance club will water them before they dance. Football team come and pull the weeds. Grow your own. Grow your own. Friends in the garden on bended knees. Sprouting like a bean or a sugar pea. Grow your own. Deedly diddly 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 do. Deedly diddly 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 do. Delighted a little do just grow by yourselves. Someday you'll be living on the 14th floor, high up above the city's roar. Clear a little space on the balcony. Get soil and seeds and red clay pots. Cultivate cukes and cherry tomatoes. A whole bunch of basil and parsley. Grow your own. Grow your own. Cause pesto sauce is extra charm when it's grown in your very own high rise farm. Grow your own. Deedly diddly 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 do. Deedly diddly 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 do. Deedly diddly 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 do. Just grow. 
So my friend Michael Mark and I were working on this song. We got to this part and we said, so what else are we going to grow? And I thought of a gal named Karen Washington. I've been on the board of Why Hunger, the organization that Harry started back in 1975 as World Hunger Year. And it became Why Hunger is trying to put hungry people in touch with food and help them towards self-reliance all these years. And uh, the second year, the, 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 1976, he calls me up and says, you know, we're getting really serious about this organization. I said, oh, you are? He says, yeah, we, we got to have a board of directors. I said, you do? Yeah. He says, you want to be on it? I said, I don't know. Do I? Yes, you do. <laughs> so I've been on it the whole time, except for every eight or nine years, they kick me off for a year and then I come back on. But, but Karen Washington is, lives in the Bronx, black woman, amazing woman. About 25 years ago, she took three or four empty lots in a food desert, turned them into the garden of happiness. The garden of happiness. And it's true, I went there several times. She taught the local kids and the local adults how to grow nutritious food in the Bronx, in these old neighborhoods, and nobody thought you could do it, but you can. So we wrote this for her. Someday you'll be walking past an empty lot. Your friends and you will hatch a plot to bring it back to life once more. So you clean out the garbage and the cans of oil, spread some clean organic soil, make a city garden with an open door, grow your own, grow your own. Cause food tastes better when you grow it up from a city garden or a paper cup, just grow your own. Delete it, light it, little do delete it, light it, little do delete it, light it, little do just grow your own. For a little bitty kid or a full grown man or a little old lady with a watering can, it's all the same and simple plan, just grow your own. My newest album is called Hold Our Ground. And here's a song I wrote with my friend Sai Khan. Sai Khan's turning 80. And tomorrow night, uh, Sunday night, John McCutcheon is having an online birthday party for him. And, uh, and he asked a bunch of his friends and collaborators to send in videos. And I sent in one. I'll sing the song of the second half of called Hold Our Ground, which is the, but he, he, this is also not that he wrote. So, uh, uh, and there's all kinds of people, Kath Matea, and uh, uh, I can't think of the list of people, but there's about 18 people who could be singing songs for Cy. If you listen close, I'll share a thought or two about who I am and what I'm trying to do. I have come to toss some words up in the air with a tune to float and fly them to your ear. I am not a savior sent here from on high. I am just a singer trying to get by. I'm not a messenger from some far distant star, just a poet with an old guitar. And I am no magician who makes things disappear, but I can cast a spell to calm your doubt and fear. Listen to the sky when the night is clear. Hear what the ancients call the music of the spheres. Sounds better if you help me. There's magic in the air Hear the notes are flying Flying everywhere It's an ancient art A 
as old as humankind Sing your song, then move on down the line I am not a preacher calling judgment down Just a troubadour traveling town to town I'm not a sorcerer with potions rare and strong just an old musician trying to get along. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm no therapist to heal your hurting soul. Just another traveler on the open road. Standing on the stage with methods tried and true. Open up your heart, let the music through, and listen close, there's magic in the air, hear the notes are flying, flying everywhere, it's an ancient art, as old as humankind, sing your song, then move on down the line. Sing a song, then move on down the line. I'll sing my song, then move on down the line. This next one with John Forster, a good friend of mine. Every day the news abounds with scoundrels doing wrong, which impels us to take action, which is really, really strong, like expressing our displeasure in the lyric of a song, preferably a sing-along. There's a name for what we're doing, broadside is the term. A tough melodic weapon full of values we affirm. Just load her up and let her rip and watch the wicked squirm as everybody sings along. Broadside, broadside, they cannot ignore us. They may run, but they can't hide. We'll out them with the verse and route them with the chorus of a broad, broad side. We're ruled by corporation, conglomerate, and bank. Congress is in gridlock, the courts are in the tank. If, if we get out of this alive, it's us you'll have to thank for asking you to sing along. It was Pete and it was Woody who pioneered it all. They taught Tom and Phil and Mary and Peter and Paul. The times they are changing and the writing on the wall says everybody sing along. Broadside, broadside, broadside. They cannot ignore us. They may run, but they can't hide. We'll out them with the verse, route them with the chorus of a broad, broadside. Feel the power of the right notes and the right quotes combined. Feel the power of the right song to open up your heart and mind. Now you may think a sing-along is just a silly game, and believing it can change the world is really kind of lame. But we shall overcome, finally overcame, Cause everybody sang along Broadside, broadside They cannot ignore us They may run, but they can't hide We out them with a verse Route them with a chorus Deck them with a verse Wreck them with a chorus Hurt them with a verse Then convert them with a chorus Of a broad, broad
here's another Cy Khan song with me. Cy, an amazing guy. And, uh, and uh, uh, if, you're, if you're watching out there somewhere, Cy, close your ears. But uh, I, I, I collaborate. Music has always been a collaboration for me. I started out with my brothers. We were the Chapin brothers. Harry was 14. I was 12. Steve was 11. Steve and I were choir boys. Harry was not. But uh, we all played <laughs> instruments. And, and my, I, we're in Jersey for the summer at my grandfather's farm. He's a writer, but he had a farm, you know. And didn't grow anything, but he had a farm. <laughs> and had a pond, had a tennis court. Yay! Because we, the winters were in New York City. Soon as school's gone out to Jersey, bare feet, dirt road. And it was one hi-fi. Our Aunt Happy had to have a hi-fi. And she brought out a record called The Weavers at Carnegie Hall. Seminal record in the folk scare of the 60s. Uh, because it changed American music, really. Peter, Paul, and Mary, the Kingston Trio, Limelighters, on and on, all were, were steeped in, in the Weavers. And we listened all summer long. End of the summer, Harry said, we could do that. <laughs> and he got a five-string banjo, and I got a guitar, and we've been doing this ever since. And uh, so, uh, but Cy, but as I started to say, it's been a collaboration to me, writing songs, doing songs. It's much more fun sitting at a table with somebody than it is by sitting at a table by myself. And, uh, and Cy is a wonderful writer, and he's the only one I know who comes. He has a sister in New York. I live a little north of the city. So I'm coming in for a day and a half. I'll give you a, I'll give you a day and a half. And he spends a night, and we write about eight songs. We don't write all of the eight songs. We start eight songs. We get to a certain part, and before he goes, OK, you understand what this is. You finish it. Let's do another one. And it takes me you know, months to finish them. And that's, but, it's, it, but the ideas are always really interesting and great. Here's one. I was at the crossroad, harsh wind at my back. Thought I saw the man himself come rambling down the track. Hard times at his shoulders, a worn case in his hand. Woody Guthrie stopped, said to me, I just don't understand. He said, I thought I'd seen the worst of times, folks scratching in the dirt. My long unemployment lines, millions out of work. All those hungry women, all those desperate men. I guess history runs in circles, cause it's coming round again. In the middle of the night, I lay there in between. Half asleep and half awake, caught up in Woody's dream. Guthrie's dream. So I asked him what he dreamed about, and he shook his head and smiled. A decent job for everyone, a home for every child, food for every family, a roof for every head. Ain't that what you dream about? He looked at me and said. When they're fracking in your backyard or poison in your stream Or in some ancient forest you can hear a chainsaw scream When fire and flood and hurricane are tearing at the seams Don't despair, oh what is said, get up and live your dreams In the middle of the night I lay there in between Half asleep and half awake Caught up in Woody's dream In the middle of the night I found out what it means To hit your ride on Woody Guthrie's dream Go work and march together Demanding what you need Speak the truth to power And call out corporate greed Sing the story of the underdog Overworked and underpaid Stand up loud, proud, shout out loud, clear and unafraid. In the middle of the night, I lay there in between. Half 
asleep and half awake, caught up in Woody's dream. In the middle of the night, I found out what it means to hit your ride on Woody Guthrie's dream. I dreamt I was at the crossroad, and as Woody turned to go, he said, I got no place in this old world now. It's your rodeo. Go right some wrong, carry on like a ghost in the machine. Good luck, farewell, give them hell. I'll see you in your dreams. This is the moment I think I should pull out my set list, which I think I'm already off of. <laughs> see what we got here, Tom. Ah, uh, pretty good. Okay. So uh, we're in a church, right? Yeah. Greenwich House Music School, I was seven years of age. Fighting with the little notes, all swimming on a page. Squeaking, squawking clarinet, I hate it, truth to tell. I still can't play five years of music lessons shot to hell. <laughs> but I learned to read a melody that fit my mother's plans for me. Put the boys in the choir, take them off the street. If they're singing in church, then they're off the concrete. Put the boys in the choir, make a joyful noise. Turn these happy hoodlums into choir boys. Grace Church, Brooklyn Heights, my mother dragged me in to see. And McKittrick choir director waiting there for me. Auditioning at eight years old and scared as I could be. But I could sing the notes she played and read a melody. I must have done all right. <clears throat> Cause that Friday night, she put the boy in the choir, took him off the street, took him off the street, if he's singing in church, if he's singing in church, then he's off the concrete, then he's off the concrete, put the boys in the choir, put the boys in the choir, make a joyful noise, make a joyful noise, turn these happy hoodlums, turn these happy hoodlums into choir. Miss McKittrick took these tough young boys from the neighborhood. Lutheran, Catholic, Baptist, Jew, if you could sing, then you were good. Four days a week, she'd hold our heathen feet to the fire. She made the crime weight lower and our voices higher. She put the boys in the choir, took them off the street. And they're singing in church. in the choir, make a joyful noise, make a joyful noise, turn these happy hoodlums into choir boys. Tonight I'm standing on a stage, I'm lining out a song. Let the music lift our spirits, singing right from wrong. Miss McKittrick smiling as I dance upon the wire. All these long years later, I'm still singing in the choir. And if you can hold a melody, then you can sing with me. Put the boys in the choir, take them off the street. Take him off the street, if they're singing in church. If they're singing in church, then they're off the concrete. Then they're off the concrete. Put the boys in the choir. Put the boys in the choir. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise. Turn 
turn these happy hoodlums into choir boys. Turn these happy hoodlums into choir Well, I was on uh, Grandma's Attic last night, Dot Ames, who is here tonight, and she told me that, 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 uh, that, that a friend of hers uh, has a birthday today. She's also the winner of the WCNI ticket giveaway, and she's here. Her, la her name is Linda Barrett. Where's Linda? There you right there. Who else has a birthday? this year. <laughs> I should do this. On my birthday morning, the sun was sinking low. I put my clothes on inside out and down the stairs it go. Up one more. <laughs> the house was decorated, but something was awry. The doorbell rang and all the gang walked in and said goodbye at the backwards birthday party where everything's out of whack. The backwards birthday party, the party day birthwards back. We ate the birthday cake first, which stirred up quite a fuss. Then we blindfolded the donkey and he pinned the tail on us. The treasure hunt went nowhere, but no one got depressed. Cause I wrapped up all my presents and gave one to every guest. At the backwards birthday party, where everything's out of whack. The backwards birthday party, the party day birthwards back. Oh, the ice cream, it was hot. The candles were not. The longer we kept partying, the earlier it got. You say, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 ba dum ba dum bum ba The clock was running backwards, struck three, then two, then one. My party, it was winding down before it had begun. I said, hello, it's time to go and push them out the door. And I was one year younger than I'd been the day before. At the backwards birthday party, where everything's out of whack. The backwards birthday party, the party day birthwards back. That's your part, you say. The party day birthwards back. Ready? The backwards birthday party. Backwards birthday party, the party day birthwards back. Last one, backwards birthday party, the party day birthwards back. <laughs> or this one, I learned this from Eric Nagler, who was a wonderful Canadian fellow. Everybody thinks I wrote it, I did not, he did not. I called him up and said, I wanna use your happy birthday song on my Moonboat recording, and he said, well, I didn't write it. I don't know who did. It's, but I'll tell you one thing. It's the Merry Widow Waltz, and Franz Lehar is turning over his grave now. <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday, we love you. Happy birthday, and may all your dreams come. When you blow out the candles, one light stays aglow. It's the love light in your eyes wherever you go. Okay, let's do this for everybody who has a birthday this year. <laughs> happy birthday, happy, we love you. May we love you. Happy birthday. May all your dreams come true. Happy birthday and may all your dreams come. When 
you blow out the candles, when you blow out the can, one light stays aglow. One light stays aglow. It's the love light in your eyes. It's the love light in where you go. So I was a choir boy, as you guys have figured out by now. And, uh, but um, one of my great friends and, and collaborators is a guy named John Forster, who, who invented the children's music with me. I mean, it's, not, it's family music. John and I said, we've got to write, write songs that are kid-friendly and adult-safe. Because <laughs> we're the ones who have to buy the tapes and play them over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> so, but uh, we were talking about hymns. You know, I had this idea about the, the human hymnal, you know, songs that are really spiritual and, and moving, but not necessarily religious, you know? And we thought it never quite worked. And, and, and then, then between the two of us, we came up with this idea. There are songs that come and go. There are songs I barely know. But the songs I know and love feel like him. A sing-along, a lullaby, a Beatles song. This is the hymn book in my head. I pick a hymn, should do run, run. And when I'm scared to carry on, I belt it out to drive away the dread. These are my hymns, fa la 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 la. Hymns, sha na 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 na. I sing them when I'm happy. Sing them when I'm blue. Relaxing in my living room or staring down the face of doom. Wop, bop, loop, bop, lop, bam, boom. These are my hymns. Silent night, stormy weather. In my life, come together. I know I'm of a certain age, and though your book may not have this page, these are the hymns I carry in my heart. Summertime, my funny valentine, I'll sing lead and we won't need a chart to sing these hymns, fa la 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 la, hymns, sha na 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 na, I sing them when I'm happy. Sing them when I'm blue, relaxing in my living room, or staring down the face of doom. Cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, these are my hymns. Na, 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 na. La, 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 e, i, e, i, o. celebrate, sing them when we grieve. Songs so right and ring so true, they touch the deepest part of you. Na, 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 na. This land is your land, like a rolling stone. are my hymns. These are my hymns. Amen. <laughs> the only problem is I can't record it. 
There's like 18 or 20 songs in there which will never let me do it. <laughs> However, it's a live event. We do. Let's see. Well, we just talked about, we just did Cast in the Cradle in the wrong tune. Let's, uh, older brother was Harry Chapin. He would have been 81 this year. And he died when he was 38. And so it's been a long time. Let me tune up a little bit for you, Harry. He's somewhere listening at the moment. There it is. This song was actually written by, as, as a poem written by Harry's wife, Sandy, about her first husband and his father. And, uh, uh, and Harry looked at it and said, wow, this could be a good song. And he made a song out of it. And, uh, made more of the father's ill at ease than any other song in history. <laughs> it's in the Grammy Hall of Fame, this song. Also, it was number one hit in 1974 or 75. and bills to pay he learned to walk when i was away and he was talking for i do it and as he grew he said i'm gonna be like you dad you know i'm gonna be like you and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon little boy blue and the man in the moon when you're coming home i don't know when we'll get together then son we're gonna have a good time then. <sighs> well, my son turned 10 just the other day. Said, thanks for the ball, Dad, come on, let's play. Can you teach me to throw? I said, not today, I got a lot to do. He said, that's okay. And as he, he walked away, his smile never dimmed. I'm gonna be like him, yeah. You know I'm gonna be like him And the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon Little boy blue and the man in the moon When you're coming home, I don't know when We'll get together then, son We're gonna have a good time then Just the other day, so much like a man, I just had to say, Son, I'm proud of you. Can you sit for a while? He shook his head and he said with a smile, What I'd really like, Dad, is to borrow the car keys. See you later, can I have them, please? And the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon, Little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, I don't know when we'll get together then. Son, we're gonna have a good time then. <laughs> Excuse me. Da, da, da. Retired, my son's moved away. Called him up just the other day. Said I'd like to see you if you don't mind. He said I'd love to, Dad, if I can find the time. You see, my new job's a hassle and the kids have the flu. But it's sure nice talking to you, Dad. It's been sure nice talking to you. And as he hung up the phone, it occurred to me he grown up just like me my boy was just like me and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon little boy blue and the man in the moon when you're coming home i don't know when we'll get together then dad you know we'll have a good time then we'll get together then you know we'll have a good time then. 
to do one more song and then uh, take a 10 minute break for 20 minutes or so. <laughs> the Tom Chapin Boutique is in town. There is uh, actually uh, uh, there's a book of the Backwards Birthday Party, a book of Library Song, a book of This Pretty Planet, and uh, all of them by Simon and Schuster, beautifully illustrated. There's also a DVD of Great, of, of a documentary he did about Harry during COVID called When in Doubt, Do Something. And it's a really wonderful documentary. Anybody see that documentary? It was, it was a, no, you can get it also with a bunch of, of CDs out there. The newest ones, Hold Our Ground, and This, this Pretty Planet, which is the uh, envir All My Environmental Songs, which was the number one record on folk radio. I don't know if you knew there was a folk radio, but there was. There is. It was last Earth Day, so a year ago. And, uh, Let's see, let me do one more song here. So, uh, I have three Grammys. They're, uh, uh, I'm very proud of them. They're all for narrating children's books. The interesting thing about that, that is they don't even have that category anymore. But one was for, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. <laughs> I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. Other ones for a, a book based on Mama don't allow no banjo playing here. Mama don't allow no banjo playing here. We don't care what Mama don't allow. I'm gonna play my banjo anyhow. Mama don't allow no banjo playing here. And the last one was for a song I've always loved. I actually, Harry and I first heard it in, at the Bitter End in New York City. The summer of 70 or 71, went to see Chris Christopherson and opening act was Carly Simon. <laughs> Place is smaller than this. I mean, it was it's about this and, and, and thing. And it was the first time that, we, that, that Chris Christopherson came to New York and he was, we knew he was a good songwriter. Didn't know anything else about him and he, but he came up in Nashville with a, Crack like three guys who could play pick pickers for what they could play, and uh, and Carly opened up with a, a little band, and she was just about to do that the Anticipation album, and boom, 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 and, with Russ Kunkel on drums, and she was great, and we knew about her because the the Simon sisters played in the village the same time the Chapin brothers did, you know. So there was this agent who came up and said, I think we should, you should get together with the Simon sisters and be like a, a new Christian minstrels from the east. <laughs> But we were too cool to do that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, she was great. And here comes Chris Christopherson. And that was the night I think Harry decided I could do that. He was working in documentary films. He'd flunked out of Cornell once, twice. <laughs> and our uncle was a documentary <gasps> filmmaker, Richard Leacock. So he got jobs. And because Chris is not a great singer. Great writer. And that night he was a wonderful raconteur, that charming as could be. This is great. And halfway through the show he goes, I heard the best damn train song you ever heard last night. Would you please welcome from Chicago, Steve Goodman. Now comes this little guy but this play with a big grin and he plays the train they call the city of New Orleans. And the place goes, whoa. And then he was off. And he brought a friend of his, John Prine. And now comes this scruffy mailman guy. I mean, he's like, he said, have jeans and, like, and he plays. The hole in his arm where the money goes. Sam Stone, that incredible th thing about the, the, the Vietnam vet who was a, a junkie. Uh, and they go off and Harry goes to me, what are they smoking in Chicago? <laughs> These great songs, we were trying to write songs ourselves, like, oh my goodness. So I get a chance to sing. I got a Grammy for narrating this train they call the city of New Orleans. Took me a whole two hours. Steve Goodman should have got it for writing it. Arlo Guthrie should have had it for the number one single. But Papa Tom got one. And he's keeping it. And he's singing this song the rest of my life. I'm riding on the city of New Orleans. Illinois Central Monday morning rail There's 15 cars, 15 restless riders Three 
conductor's 25 sacks a man. We're out on a southbound odyssey and the train pulls out of Kankakee, riding past the houses, farms, and fields. Passing trains that have no name and freight yards full of old black men. The graveyards are rusted automobiles. It's good morning, America. How are you? Saying, don't you know me? I'm your native son. I'm a train they call the city of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles when the day is done. It's a great singing chorus. Next time, no excuses. Just jump in there. Well, I was dealing in cars with the old men in the club car. Penny a point, there weren't no one keeping score. Say, won't you pass the paper bag that holds a bottle? You could hear the wheels crumbling through the floor. And the sons of Pullman porters and the sons of engineers ride their father's magic carpet made of steel. Mothers with their babes asleep go rocking to the gentle beat. The rhythm of the rails is all they feel. It's good morning, America. How are you? Saying, don't you know me? I'm your native son. I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles when the day is done. darkness rolling down to the sea and all the towns and people seem to fade into a bad dream this train still ain't heard the news the conductor sings his song again passengers please refrain this train's got the disappearing railroad blues it's good night america how are you saying don't you know me i'm your native Son, I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles when the day is the last chance. Good and strong, and it's good night, America. How are you? Saying, don't you know me? I'm your native son. I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles. The day is the Let's hear it for Tom Chapin. We're going to take about a 15 to 20 minute break. As you know, there's some very good goodies here tonight, and I don't think they're all eaten yet, so please uh, enjoy, and we'll see you in 15, 20 minutes. Let's get started. I said 20 minutes. It's been 19 and counting. 
Chop, chop. As we're, uh, as everyone's getting their seats, I wanted to make sure that you know the last concert of our 23-24 season will be uh, in May. Oh, gosh, where did I put that? <laughs> ah. It's amazing things that you lose. Well, anyway, I'm going to have to do it on the top of my head. I want to make sure that you all know that our last concert, and I'd like you both to stand up. This is our seat of our pants. I got it right this time. And if, you're, if you really want to hear a real rockin', really good concert, and it's not rock, rock and roll, no, no. But it's just really fun music. If, go to, the, to our uh, website or just go into YouTube and Seat of Our Pants and you'll have a fun time. But you'll even have more fun next May. And the date of it is May? 17th. May 17th. I want to make sure. May 17th, where are you going to be? Here. All right. Thank you. Oh, uh, Grandma's at it two Saturdays from today or tomorrow. All right. What time? Ten o'clock Saturday night. Okay, good. Before I bring Tom up here, I left something out of... Now, be quiet, children. I was a school teacher for many years. And some of you could have been some of my students. I'll give you the eye, huh? Anyway, the one thing I left out when I introduced Tom Chapin, I just realized, is that one of the things, of all the things that he's done in his life, he's just one of the most down-to-earth people that you'll meet, which I think says so much about a person of what he's accomplished in his life. He's just, he'd rather talk about anybody else, his, especially his two daughters with their music and stuff. That's the kind of guy he is. I'm going to bring back again Tom Chapin. That's the harp. That's the auto. <laughs> Automatic harp. Sound. 
tremble we will surely bring them down feel the walls around us tremble we will surely bring them down and find ourselves on common ground and find ourselves on common ground and again find ourselves on friend on, on, online asked for a special song, uh, Lin, Linda Dieter, and uh, hi guys, all of you out there, and uh, it's a song that uh, happened right at, uh, the weekend after 9-11. Uh, uh, we were, uh, Michael, Mark, and I were trying to get there, we couldn't get there, which is in, uh, to a, uh, a festival called Walnut Valley Festival. It's, it, it, it's a bluegrass festival in, in Winfield, Kansas. And, uh, and, and John McCutcheon got up and drove from Charlottesville, Virginia to get there. And 9-11 uh, happened on a Tuesday. We we're supposed to be there Friday. And the Thursday flights were still not happening. Friday, we got one flight from Philly. So we, we drove down to Philly, and, and Michael and I got jumped on an empty plane. And the stewardess again, I'm so glad to see somebody. Thank you. you know? And we got to uh, Wichita and got there about 8 or 9 o'clock at night on Friday night. So it's like the, the festival, festival goes from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You know? and there was like 20,000 people there, and a bunch of the artists hadn't gotten there. So John McCutcheon at breakfast says, I'm so glad you guys got here. He said, I started this song, and, uh, he, and I, I saw this thing on one of those, one of the little, little, uh, you remember all those little uh, things? People wrote things and put flowers around. Uh, I can't, what, what do you call that? Like a memorial? Memorial. Memorials, thank you. Yeah. Uh, and, and he said, one said, follow the light. And so I started that song, and I said, oh. So all, all, all say, day Saturday, we would get together for 15, 20 minutes in between gigs, and we did all these fill-ins you know, all day long. And then at, that night, in front of it, on stage one, in front of 20,000 people. Everybody was a New Yorker from Kansas. And we wrote, sang this song. Seven and eight, my 
my sister and I Lost in the woods As the lightning filled the sky We ran through the rain And there up ahead Was a light on the porch Come home like mama said Follow the light When you're lonely and lost When out in the darkness You were tumbled and tossed Follow your heart Wherever you may be Follow the light on home to me Out on the sea shoreline storm clouds mount the skies we look for a sign a welcoming sight a beacon that shines to guide us home tonight follow the light when you're lonely and lost when out on the ocean you are tumbled and tossed follow your a hole in our town there's a hole in our hearts hole in our hearts the whole world around how do we heal tell me how do we see the mercy that shines in you and me we follow the light As you can see, I haven't played that in a while. I, every time we play with John McCutcheon, we play that, but I haven't played it in a while. It's a great, great song. Whew. I should play it more often. So here's the title track from the new, the new CD, CD. Remember CDs? I used to say about records. Remember recordings? Vinyl? That, that's coming back. You think CDs will come back? I don't know. When times grow dark and life grows mean, the hardest times we ever see when darkness so Every time I write on, a, on the auto harp, it ends up being a hymn. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, it, it just feels that way. This is a Cy Khan song. Cy came up with, uh, with three verses of this, and I said, wow. And then he said, you finish it. And I wrote the tune. When times grow dark and life grows mean, the hardest time 
dreams we've ever seen when darkness overwhelms the dawn can we find strength to carry on when high winds tear down what we of strife, through times of fear, we will hold our ground forever. and I wrote a, a song for a, 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 an album of, of auto harp. There's like three, three CDs of all the auto harp players, and they, they asked me to come. I, I have like five songs on an on a, on a auto harp. We wrote, take 37 strings in a box that rings. Tune for the rest of your life. <laughs> Say hello to your new best friend. Say goodbye to your wife. <laughs> I'm in a 12-chord program. It'll last my whole life long. I'm an auto-harpaholic, 
this is my sad song. <laughs> Let's see. What's this, uh, this guy here? Took the little that I owned and packed a worn valise. Left the old world to the mercies of the secret police. For seven months I worked my way until I came at last to the seaport town where I finally turned my back upon the past. November's dark Atlantic seas turn rough and bitter cold. Fourteen days across the water, I was sick down in the hold. Then the word was passed, and out we tumbled on deck. I strained to see the great green lady of the harbor reaching up her hand. splash and there we were so close so far away and all that night I watched the lights reflect in New York Bay the rich folk got off early but they made the steerage wait for the barge that finally took us to the place called America's Gate Ellis I haven't come here looking for your promised land. I don't believe your streets are paved with gold. But I know there's work, I know there's land, I know you need an able-bodied man. Inside all was madness in that crowded great stone hall. When I reached the desk, I was trembling. A uniform was all I saw. Do you have money? Is your family here? Are they residents? Have you ever been involved in the overthrow of a government? The questions came. I tried to answer yes. I think so. No, I felt faint, I began to sweat, my tongue felt thick and slow. A doctor checks my skin, my eyes, what else are they gonna do? Then he stamps my papers and I think, my God, I made it through. Ellis Island, I haven't come here looking for your promised land. I don't believe your streets are paved with gold But I know there's work, I know there's land I know you need an able-bodied man Took a ferry to New Jersey and I stood there all alone amid the throngs of people heading places yet unknown. Sixteen tracks all pointed west and I will choose the one. I'm 26 years old and now my life has just begun.
that's uh, Michael Mark and I wrote that together a week after both of us un unreal. We got together to write it. it, was, it was, I think we were working on the, uh, the, uh, one of the children's records, one of the family records called My Hometown. But I said, you know, last week I took my, took my daughters to Ellis Island. This was 20 years ago, you know. And he goes, I was there last week too with my kids. What amazing. So we started talking about it. We said, we've got to write something about this. So, hey, Jesse, is, this, is there something happening with the uh, wireless, you think? I, I, so maybe I should uh, go just plug directly in. What do you think? Or is, it, is, it, is it bad or not bad enough? Uh, the Jesse is our sound man. There we go. <laughs> Let's switch. Okay. Good. All right. I got a wireless thing happening. Okay. Let's see what we got. Take this out, put this away, we plug directly in. This is how the sausage is made. You gotta turn it on now. It's not on the other one. It's plug in the guitar. I thought it was his fault, but of course. It's <laughs> they call my town a melting pot like a stew or a casserole, but we are not a melting pot. My town is a salad bowl. I appreciate this family of mine. We're tomatoes from along its dirty vine. And though we're juicy, flavorful, and sweet, we're not the only veggies on the street. Delicious things and the flavor that each thing brings delicious the whole. My town is a salad, town is a salad, town is a salad bowl. That's your part. My town is a salad, town is a salad, town is a salad bowl. My closest buddy calls herself a cute. Also says she's got a lot of zook. Cuke zook, whatever, it's a wash. She's just my friend, I love her like a squash. The spinach family's very, very shy. They don't yet speak the language, but they try. Some folks find the chili peppers hot. But get to know them, you could learn a lot. My town is a sad. It's full of surprising things And the flavor that each thing brings Surprise surprise the whole Here we go My town is a salad Town is a salad Town is a salad bowl One of the Bostons married an iceberg They're bringing their kids up romaine The sprouts don't approve to move, so we sing him this catchy refrain. My town is a salad. The onion refugees live with the chives, who are helping them start over with their lives. Some folks hate them, some folks find the chili peppers hot. But get to know them, you could learn. Tastes 
get lost The thing that makes you unique Uniqueifies the pole My town is a sad Town is a sad Town is a sad By yourself Especially during COVID, when they 
music teachers were stuck at home and had to Zoom with music with their kids. And there must be several hundred, maybe a thousand. Claudia at my office, every day, two or three times a week, said, there's another one, and she just find, she found another, the spirit planet, the teacher's doing. It's around for the round earth. It's, it's on, one of the songs on, on my first family recording, Family Tree, came out in 1988. And I gave a, this struggling folk singer a, a big break to sing on my kid's record, Judy Collins. <laughs> I'd opened for her a couple of times, and she was a good friend of Harry's, so I just thought, I need a, it's a round. You know, the first part fits together with the second part. And my kids, Abigail and Lily, who were then six and eight, that's the first time they were in the studio they were singing. And they gave me a really hard time in the studio. <laughs> Dad, we did it already. Yeah, but this is a studio, you have to do it again. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but I knew we needed a woman's voice, and so I just took a chance and I sent, I called up her office and, said, and I said, well, send the, send the stuff over. So the three songs I sent over there and didn't hear for a week. And I said, oh, okay, well, I'm not going to bug Judy Collins. And then, then all of a sudden I got a call from her secretary and said, Tom, Judy wants to know when the recording session is. <laughs> now! They give her <laughs> So she came and sang three songs, and all of a sudden, A&M Records picked it up, because they had Raffi, remember, and Sharon Lowe, and Graham, and those things. And they had Tom Chapin, and all of a sudden, they had a whole other career for all through the 90s and up to now. And, uh, and this song, it's one of the songs used to wake up the astronauts on the Discovery 7 space shuttle. We woke up John Glenn. Still be asleep up there, of course. No, he is asleep up there. But uh, I didn't know it was going to happen, but it, they, they played it in, in space. So this is one of those songs that just has gone around. It's a real folk song now. As Harry said about, about Cast in the Cradle, he was number one. He said, you know, it's not my song anymore. It's theirs. And that's a little bit like this. When I go to a school where we're singing it, they say, he wrote that? <laughs> so let's sing it together. This pretty planet spinning through space. You're a garden, you're a harbor, you're a holy place. Two, three, go. This pretty planet spinning through space. You're a garden, you're a harbor, you're a holy golden sun going down. Spin us around, spin us around all through the night, all through the night. Say till the morning light. So that came out in 88, and in 2001, decided to put together a whole uh, CD just of my environmental songs, you know, and uh, we called it This Pretty Planet. And then my, my collaborator, John Forster, said, you know, that's in 4-4, four, four, three, four. But what if you do it in? This pretty plan spinning through space. You're a guard, you're a heart, you're a whole He says, it's like a gospel thing, you know? So we followed that down. I said, well, who can help me sing this? Maybe we can get a gospel choir. And my friend of ours, Ann Ruckert, said, get with us. Sissy Houston. Sissy Houston, you mean the mom of Whitney Houston? Yeah. She's one of the great background singers. Okay, how do we do that? Well, she's a friend of mine. I'll call her. She has a, and she had a, she had a youth choir down in, uh, in, in Newark. What a wonderful one. She, and she came up and said, you got to, it's on, the, on, the, on the, the, this pretty planet, because both of those things are on that now. And, and, we, and she gathered all of her friends, and they came in and made a, this gospel choir in the studio. You know, and it was just astonishing. But we had, so we had to make him some, uh, some, up some words, which is what the book is, actually these words. Wind, <coughs> excuse me. Winds blow, tides flow, shooting stars descend.
at my office asked for this song. Here we are. It's time again when there's all these endless wars going on. And here's a song that Ed McCurdy wrote a long time ago. I learned from Pete Seeger. Last night I had the strangest dream I never dreamed before. I dreamed the world at all. Live 
with my mom that summer and filming in New York City. And, uh, and so I sang that and walking around the Alice in Wonderland statue in, in, uh, in Central Park in between motorcycles and helicopters and this and that. And that was all there was, a minute, you know, about a minute and 20 seconds, something like two verses. But my mother loved the song. And since I was in the house, I was practicing, so she would count. So she, every time she saw Harry, she said, Harry, that circle song, that's a good song. She never said that. She said, okay, Ma, you know, Harry, that circle song. got his record contract that year, and uh, he needed an extra song, so he put it in there. So I was doing Make-A-Wish in the summer of 71. A year later, Harry had hit with Taxi and was suddenly rocking, you know. A year later, I go to England to Make-A-Wish for a month and a half. The number one song in England by the New Seekers, follow up to I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing in Perfect Harmony, you know that song? The follow up was Circle, which did nothing in the States. No, I didn't even hear it. I get to England and London. It's a jukebox. It's a, that's my song. What the fuck? So, shows how quickly these things change. And what had happened was, it was too short, so he had to write a third verse. So he wrote, I found you a thousand times. I guess you've done the same. like Harry Chapin, and you might like me a little bit, September 13th, we're coming to this town at the Guard Arts Center. The Chapin family is coming to do Harry Chapin Greatest Stories Live. That means, wait, that means my daughter's Abigail and Lily, Harry's daughter Jen and her trio, and Steve Chapin and Big John Wallace, Hyde part in, in Taxi, Low part in Mr. Tanner, and the Harry Chapin Band. So, how he feels. It's an amazing show, and uh, we'll, be back, we'll be here in September. September 13th is a Friday night. So, put it on your calendars. It's going to be fun. Let's sing this again. And all my life is a circle. Sunrise, sunrise, and sundown. The moon rolls through. you have some things you wanted to say? No, I'm going to do them afterwards. Afterwards? Hey. Okay. Your show. Oh, okay. So, that wasn't the best way to do this. Is there something anybody wants to be dying to hear that I didn't do? What? Hometown. Hometown? On the auto harp? <laughs> I once did this. I had a big benefit concert in, uh, 
at the Beacon Theater in New York City, and it was all Springsteen songs, and for a benefit for a, a housing thing or something, and they asked me to come, and I said, what am I gonna do? You know, it, it, was, it was a lot of rock and rollers and all kinds of, you know, and, uh, and I thought about uh, that song, because he does it on guitars, but if you do it on auto harp. Michael and John, my, my band came, my keyboard and bass, and, and so we did a quick sound check, and then we, then we had like the third act, you know, it went for, for days, you got to two in the morning. So, uh, so when we plugged in in the evening, it was like, so loud. <laughs> Inside the thing. I was eight years old, running with a dime in my hand to the bus stop to pick up a paper for my old man. I sat in his lap in a big old. Say some take a good look around. This is your hometown. This is your hometown. Your hometown. This is your hometown. You guys gotta help me with the chorus. I mean, that's the easiest chorus in the world. This is great. <laughs> Sixty-five tensions were running high in my high school. There were a lot of fights between black and white. There was nothing you could do. Cars and light on a Saturday night. Backseat drew a gun. Words were passed, a shotgun blast, trouble time.
Let's hear it for Tom Chapin. Thank you so much, Tom. I'd like to tell you before you go, we have Seat of Our Pants next month, May 17th, right? You're all going to be here, right? Next year. Uh, we're so excited. It's all complete. The Bards of Gunjuwamp in s September 20th. So you can go this 13th at the Guard, hear Tom and the Chapin family, and come here for the Bards of Gunjuwamp, September 20th. Arlene Wow, October. John Gorka, November. Jeff Kaufman. We're going to do another Pete Seeger tribute concert in February. Claudia Schmidt in March. Guy Davis in April. And Steve Elsie, a family concert. So we got a lot going on. So be back. Be merry. Be happy. And be back. <laughs>